Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Berkeley. I'm uh, Professor Sue J. King Liu. I'm the Dean of the College of Engineering, and it's really my pleasure to kick off this afternoon of speakers. Um, how many of you are here at Berkeley for the first time? Wow, that's fantastic. My understanding is even though this is called the Berkeley Stanford China Forum, there are many of you that are actually here from other universities, so it's wonderful. Welcome to Berkeley. And the weather here could be a little better, but usually it's about it's sunny like, like this. <laughs> All right, so you know what makes Berkeley stand out as a research institute, a top research institution and an institution of higher education in the world is our traditions of excellence, so excellence in academics and in research, but also access. We really want to be able to welcome uh, people from all kinds of backgrounds to come together to learn, to discover, and to create together in a collaborative manner. So one of the things that makes UC Berkeley so successful is its um, traditions of excellence and access. Also, since we are a public institution, um, our fundamentally we would like, our, our mission is to improve or to, to work for, to make society a better place, right? To work towards a better society, a future for all. And so, in order to achieve, to fulfill our mission, we need to maintain an environment that's open, um, where academic freedom is respected. You know, this is the birthplace of the uh, freedom of speech movement. And more and more, we want to cultivate a culture of um, inclusion, right, where everybody feels that they belong here, that they are welcome and respected, and they can achieve their full potential. Now, in the College of Engineering, we actually are in the, pro in the mission, our, our mission really is to transform the lives of our students, to educate them to become inclusive leaders. And the research that we do is aimed to have great impact, to solve the society's greatest challenges. So this is um, what we refer to as transformative technology. And ultimately, we want to transform society to make it more equitable, you know, fair and just, so that everybody can thrive. So our mission really, if you want to summarize it, is to educate inclusive leaders, create knowledge equitably, all in service of a diverse society. So I think one, that's one of the things that uh, was uh, driving this forum, is that maybe to foster a sense of belonging and inclusion. So in the College of Engineering, we're really working hard to increase the awareness of the benefits of diversity. So this chart is from uh, one of the many reports that the McKinsey and Company Consulting Company uh, puts out every year. So on the left is a chart comparing um, how well companies do, let's say, it, financially. In, in general, the companies that are in the top quartile that are most successful financially have greater gender diversity. And similarly, if a company has greater ethnic diversity, then it tends to perform financially better. So there are business as well as societal you know, imperatives that make the diversity uh, a, a priority for us. Now, I think this forum has a lot of Asian uh, participants. I thought it might be interesting to show some data. Um, so this uh, organization, uh, ASCEND here, A-S-C-E-N, they basically published a report a few years ago, and they introduced a new index. It's like measurement, uh, it's like a metric. It's called the Management Parity Index, MPI. And it's basically an equation. Okay, I'm an engineer, so a simple equation. Uh, the percentage of pe people in the company that are managers versus the percentage of people just in general in the company who are Asian. Okay, so this is, so if you have a Management Parity Index of one, that means you have just a percentage-wise comparable percentage of Asians that are managers compared to Asians who are overall in engineers. And you can see on the left, NVIDIA is close to one, which is great. We have a CEO who's Asian there. But many of the top companies in the tech industry have management parity indices for Asians that are well below one. And so this is one of the reasons why in the College of Engineering we're trying to you know, foster inclusion, but also train students to develop their, tech, um, their uh, communication and leadership skills so that we will try to include, increase that management parity index. Now, you as students are here to learn, but I think you should realize that you have the power already to influence culture in the industry. 
So I'm just going to give you one example, and hopefully you will help me with this new initiative. Here at Berkeley, we've developed a corporate diversity and inclusion survey. Okay, and it's a very short survey, one page, that will um, that we would like to require all companies who want to hire engineering students to fill out. And this survey has three sections. The first section asks if a company tracks meaningful diversity metrics. So do you keep track of things like that management parity index? Do you keep track of the percentage of women that are hired into technical roles and the rate at which they're being promoted compared to men and the rate at which they're leaving compared to men? That's one section of the um, survey. They just check which ones they, they track, which diversity metrics they track. Because if you don't track meaningful diversity metrics, how do you know if your company is doing well? And how do you know if what your, your initiatives are making a difference? The second part of the survey asks, uh, do you have best practices such as um, equity, you know, pay equity? Do you hold your managers accountable for achieving diversity goals and so on? And in the final section of this short survey asks, okay, what kind of benefits do you provide to, to your employees? Do you have paid vacation, uh, parental leave, gender inclusive restrooms, things like this? So this information um, is going to be available to the public for each company that fills out this form. I don't know if people upstairs can click on that website, that link. But basically, we're going to be announcing very soon um, this website so that any engineering student all, in, anywhere in the world can see how companies, what kind of climate they have in the company. And my ask of you is to encourage companies to go and fill out the survey so you can see how they compare against other employers. This way you can influence companies to participate and tell you what they are doing to ensure a more equitable, inclusive workplace and more family-friendly policies. This way, this can be extra information for students to help them choose the best company for them. And also, for those of you who are involved in startups, we should hold ourselves accountable as well. You should see how diverse is your team as you grow, you know, as you're going to a more mature stage. How diverse is your team? Do you have leadership that's representative of the, the, the customer base that you would, are targeting and so on? So, um, you know, the motto of the University of California is let there be light or fiat lux. And I hope that this presentation as well as the remaining presentations that you'll hear here at Berkeley today will be illuminating and giving you insight into what it takes to succeed as uh, engineering leaders. So uh, best wishes and enjoy the rest of the day.